Hello and welcome to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. As promised in my previous video, I wanted to go ahead and give you a demonstration of HP's Dream Screen 100. So without further ado, let's just jump in and take a look at some of the features that this uh, digital photo frame actually has. Um, what you're looking at right now is the main menu system that the photo frame has and we're looking at the setup option right now. This is the menu option that you'll select to set your, your date and your time as well as connect it to your wireless network or home network and also you can set in your zip code for your weather information um, from this menu option. Um, there's a couple other things like updating the firmware in there as well. Uh, moving along we've got a calendar feature and so far I haven't been able to find anything that you can synchronize this calendar with that may be uh, a future function that HP is going to bring down the line with uh, future firmware updates. Right now it just to me uh, it appears to be a static monthly calendar. Um, I haven't been able to find anything else as far as synchronizing it with uh, any of your calendars whether it be PC or Macintosh so far. So uh, it's a nice little feature just to get, to get a month look in advance. Um, next function is the clock and the clock has multiple views. You can have one clock or two clocks set with the various time zones of your choosing. Um, the way I have mine configured as you can see is a monthly calendar as well as an analog clock so I can see what time it is and what day it is. Pretty simple. I have this set as my screensaver so after five minutes of using any of the web apps um, that's not the slideshow then it'll automatically default onto this setting here and you'll actually be looking at the clock in the calendar. So it's a, it's a nice little feature. I actually uh, I like that a lot. Um, moving along the the next feature that we actually have is the weather web, uh, web app which is actually powered by uh, Weatherbug and I really like this function. It goes out, connects to weatherbug.com, brings down your local information based on your zip code, and it gives a nice current weather display as well as a four-day forecast um, on the right-hand side of the screen, and I really like that. It's a, it's a very user-friendly and quickly accessible um, information at your fingertips. So that's uh, one of the little functions that uh, we got going there, and, and, and very useful one at that. Um, the next option is video. The screen is capable of playing back 30 frames per second uh, video. The screen is 800 by 480 for that uh, 10 by 9 aspect ratio. However, it does scale. So if you've got a high resolution uh, file and you're playing it back on here, it will scale it down and it gives it a real nice crisp look. I currently don't have any video on here. However, there are some hands-on demonstration and um, how-tos that the screen comes with. So I'll go ahead and play that real quick here and let you get a look at how the video actually looks. This is just a basic setup video that uh, that comes on the Dream Screen. So uh, it's it's real nice. The, the playback is good. I've put some of my own videos on, but I took them off because of the, the, the storage limitation of two gigabytes. But um, So that's just a real quick look at what the video looks like. Um, you uh, cannot stream video the way you can with photos and music. However, you can load up video on the removable storage media that the frame supports as well as the 2 gig internal RAM and it will, or internal storage, and it will actually play the video from there. So moving along, the kind of the meat of the entire thing, the, the photo option. Um, real nice, real capable uh, display. I really do enjoy the, the crispness that this display actually has. You can see I can sort my photos by date. Um, by folder, all photos, or PC. So if you're running Windows 7, or I'm sorry, if you're running a Windows-based computer and you're running Windows Media Player 11 and you have your photos and music managed via that tool, you can use that tool, enable sharing, and the HP Dream Screen will connect to Windows Media 11 and stream your photos wirelessly via your network. So you don't have to actually store all that information on the frame, which is a really cool feature. Um, and that's where you see that PC option up at the top of the screen. So uh, here's just a, a couple of examples of pictures that the screen has. They're really nice, um, high resolution images. Contrast levels are really good. These are images that I shot with my 12 megapixel uh, camera. And so it's taking that 12 megapixel file and shrinking it down to an 800 um, by 480 picture. So you get this really crisp, really sharp images um, as a photo frame, which I really like. It's, it's very nice compared to some of, the, uh, some of its competitors are out there. It's got a very nice display. So um, that's just a little bit. I'm, I'm currently in view mode. I'm selecting the, the photos and telling it to advance the photos. I'm not in slideshow mode, so I'm manually controlling this. So um, that's just a quick demonstration of what the actual photos look like. So let's, uh, let's move along and take a look at some of the other functions. Um, next on the list is the music section. And again, this is just like your photos. You can stream via Windows Media 11, or you can have music stored on any of the external devices or the internal hard drive. 
and play music back. The actual speakers are, are pretty decent. There's two speakers, um, one on the left and the right hand side of the frame, which um, if you have this put up against a wall, it kind of projects out and will bounce off the wall and it actually has decent sound. Obviously there's no bass response, but it does have pretty crisp, um, clearly defined audio. And these are just some of the, the built-in music that, uh, that the frame comes with for demonstration purposes. Um, I'll go ahead and play one of these real quick and let you kind of hear it. So there you go, there's a little bit of a demo on uh, the music that it actually will play back. It's, it's pretty good. I'm actually quite surprised at how clear it actually does sound. So um, there's your music functionality for uh, playing back any of your DRM free music that you may load on. The next function and the next web app that it actually has is a Facebook app. And what this actually allows you to do is look at all of your friends' status updates as well as any photos that your friends have shared up and are viewable to you via the web and any Facebook events. So if you're being invited to happy hours or birthdays or family get togethers, you can view those via the frame as well. And it looks just like Facebook, gives you the status updates. Um, you can see status and read basically what they're putting as well as going over to the photos. I'll show you what this looks like. It's really nice. It actually just works just like a, a digital photo frame. You select your friends. Um, I'll actually pick myself here. And if you're looking at the, your, the photos via Facebook, it brings them right off. So here's you know the Halloween photos that I have up on Facebook and it displays them full screen as if they were photos that I had on the the picture frame so um, that's pretty cool it's a nice function to kind of keep up with you know your friends photos as well or if you've got friends or family over and you want to say hey do you remember you know Susie so-and-so from high school or whatever hey here she is on Facebook and here's some of her photos so it's a pretty cool little function uh, you also have a, a snapfish web app which actually allows you to go and stream your photos that you may upload onto snapfish 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 is just like Flickr or Picasa it's an online photo sharing site and if you have an account put that account information in and stream those photos down off of the web. I don't have one, so I can't demonstrate that. Um, Pandora, really cool feature. We all know what Pandora is if you're into digital audio and you know custom music stations. I have a Pandora account. I've got a couple of channels set up. You click in, it automatically goes and plays the last Pandora channel that you were streaming. Um, you can rate the music up and down just like if you're on Pandora. You can skip music. It connects to the to the web as you can see. It downloads the album art just like if you were on Pandora. Very cool little web app. Um, really like the way it actually streams and, and does. Again, here, let me unmute it. You can get a little bit of a audio sampling of how it sounds. You can click the next button if you don't want to listen to that song. Just like if you were on Pandora, it goes out. Uh, finds the next song in the library, plays it, downloads its web album, uh, album art. So that's a very cool feature. I like that a lot. Um, you can also do a slideshow. So if you're streaming your Pandora, you can hit the slideshow button on the remote and it'll start cycling through your photos while playing that music off of Pandora. So that's a pretty cool feature. And uh, last but last not least, HP Smart Radio. I wasn't real familiar with what this was and so I wasn't all that excited about it until I actually checked it out. And this is an actually really cool function. So HP Smart Radio is a web app that actually allows you to go out there, search for radio stations that do live webcasts or live broadcasts via the internet and select radio stations. So um, I relocated from California some years back, used to love KROQ uh, out of Los Angeles. And so I can actually come down here and select KROQ as many as, I mean, there's thousands of radio stations that I was flipping through. It's, it's got quite an extensive library. So with this, what I can do is I can select KROQ. I, it'll go out, connect via the internet and live stream that radio station for me. Um, a really cool function. I think it's a pretty neat uh, capability. So as you can see, I've got uh, KROQ as well as Twit Live, which is Leo Laporte's technology um, broadcast that he does. So those are that's a quick overview of the Dream Screen 100. If any of you want uh, me to dive a little bit more in depth in any of the function that the photo frame has, please leave me a comment in the show notes below and I will be as uh, quick as possible in getting that um, demonstration for you or answering any questions that you may have. Thanks again for tuning in, and as always, um, please rate, subscribe, and leave comments to my video. And for more exclusive technology information and um, more up-to-date um, blogging, please follow me on Twitter.com, and that's uh, www.twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.